Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about this guy right here. So I whipped this up uh, for the Creality CR10. And so one of the things you guys might remember in some past videos, I, I've uh, covered out how to use the dial indicator to tam or trim or level the bed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you might remember this. I used this. I came up with this for the Wanhao mounts on the extruder motor and allows me to uh, level out the bed. Now I'm not going to, you can go back and look in the playlist and everything and I'll see about linking that video down below uh, if you want to see how to use this. I'm not going to talk so much about how to use this but how I've adapted this to the Creality CR10. And again, this kind of will hold true for many different printers. So if you don't have a Creality CR10, still worth watching this. So one of the things that I did is I started out with this guy. So I, I saw this on Thingiverse. And what happens, this sort of goes together somewhat like two pieces. Um, and this kind of presses together somehow. And this pops in here. Uh, sort of like this and this mounts on the motor and then what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to stick a dial indicator in here and it holds it but a couple problems you see this right here doesn't go in there um, so that's a problem the second thing is is they hit the designer has holes over here and it doesn't line up with this now this is a uh, he has it with a digital um, uh, dial indicator. Now one of the things I typically get are these analog dial meters because one of the things they don't take batteries these are super cheap you can get them on sale for like around 14 bucks and I just sort of dedicate them to the task at hand like this one will just stay here and you'll notice this one stays attached to this for the um, uh, want how so when I want to use it it's handy um, you know and the whole thing you know cost me under 20 bucks really because the idea I don't need the detail of the digital uh, meter because what I'm simply doing is tramming out the bed um, you know so it, it, it's level to itself so I do the paper test and then tram it out and again I'll put that video down below so I don't want to get into that too much uh, so what I did is I modified this and I worked through a couple iterations uh, of this and this one actually is the easiest to print because one of the things that I had to deal with was the depth of this neck here because in my first version you see it sat here and then this came too close to the bed so I had to raise it up and I did a few designs in here to kind of stiffen up the support structure and very much like this this one this goes over top of the um, front of the hot end of the extruder. Uh, they had for openings in here these small ones. I, I saw no reason to have that. You know, I just kept this area all open. And again, when you print it, it prints flat on the bed. And I'll have the file out on Thingiverse so you can download it. Um, and then also I used a nylon bolt for weight. You could use a metal bolt. You don't have to use a nylon here. It's just uh, basically a quarter 20 bolt. I just did it because I have a bunch of minutes light. Now, one of the things you notice that I've recessed so because the back of the dial indicator here has this recess and so what happens is it slides in there like that and mounts uh, pretty much tight against it now this one's out a little bit um, but part of it is when it pulls tight this is meant to cinch against this piece here so the idea is it will pull tight and it will uh, sit in there like that uh, and this guy kind of sits a little bit flush there too so anyways, kind of want to share that. I went through a couple iterations in design, but I think I finally got it now. The other piece I did, and we're going to go over to the printer in a second, uh, is I developed some specialized G-code that I, I wrote by hand. Uh, and we're going to go over the machine. We're going to talk about that uh, G-code, and then we're going to run it. Now, I'll also have links to that G-code below. Now, that's it's set up uh, for the Creality CR10. However, if you know anything about G-Code, you can modify it for any size printer. You simply just do a find and replace on the bed coordinates and adjust it to your bed size and you're good to go. So pretty simplistic stuff. So tell you what, let's head over to this CR10 and take a look at this in action. Okay, welcome back. We're at the Creality CR10. We've got the meter set up. We got, we don't have it set up, but we have it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the first set of G-code. I want to walk you through this. So this is the Align Discover G-code. And again, I'll have this out on the site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this G-code. So you just go to Print from SD Card. And you'll have it on your SD Card. And then you'll do CR10 Align Discovery. 
and then what will happen is uh, it will do a homing run as it's doing now and one of the things for demonstration purposes I've got the heat turned off on the bed and the hot end you'll want to edit the code to put in your more favored temperatures but right now for the sake of demonstration I want to turn it off so now it's done its home run and what it's doing is it's going to raise itself up to position it uh, for you to install the meter on the uh, on the hot end so we'll let it come up to height and it'll stop it'll dwell at this position for 20 seconds so you have 20 seconds now to put this heater on before it starts up again not the heater on but the gauge and then again you just kind of push it on so it's tight and that's all you do so you wait your 20 seconds now so you can see it's installed on the um, so now it's starting up again. So it's going to move to its home position now. And make sure it hits the bed. It's going to come up pretty close. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have another 20 seconds uh, to zero out the indicator. So I've now zeroed out the indicator. So I've got another camera. I don't think you can see it over here. I'll switch to it, it'll run. So now, now you can see it making its run. So what will happen is it'll move over and it'll do steps every 10 millimeters as it moves across the bed. And what you can do is on the other camera, I hope, uh, getting video, you'll be able to see it um, measure the difference between each one. So again, this is one of the reasons I zeroed it out. So at about 7,000, a delta you notice it's kind of dipping down a little bit as if you're watching the video and again what happens this is sort of a little bit of a discovery so you can uh, you know see if there's low spots in your bed you know if you want to get even crazier you can go you can go every millimeter and really do something fancy one of the things I would like to do with this is if you guys know of um, I'd like to get a digital multimeter not a multimeter but a digital dial indicator that has like RS-232 or USB out that isn't a billion dollars. Uh, I was looking for one briefly, I couldn't find it, but it'd be interesting to connect this to a PC and dump this down sort of as, as a point cloud um, and just kind of see the imperfections in the bed or the whatever. I think it'd be just an interesting thing. So if you guys know something like that that's affordable, <clears throat> excuse me, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be interested to hear about it. I saw several options of doing things with um, you know, picks and that kind of stuff, because most digital meters do have um, sort of like a serial line out, but I don't want to go through all that headache. I could do it, but it's just so time consuming and to mess with it and debug it and get all the code right. I'm looking for something that's turnkey that I can just add here. So you can kind of see back at this end, she did some dipsy doodles. Um, But again, you can kind of see it go through. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to make a lateral run. There it goes. So it's making a lateral run. And then you can kind of see the lateral portions of the bed as it's going through. And again, I'll have this G-code out there. You can modify this G-code uh, if you look at it for basically any type of printer. Now, it's going to go back to, I set it as a high home position so you can unload the meter. Now, one of the other pieces, I've got a second um, code snippet out there. Uh, but now, so you can just pop this meter off if you want. It's clear of the bed and everything else. Now, I have another one um, that I'm going to show you guys. And this is called Bed Level Version 05. Now, very similar. So, it'll do a homing run. Now, I've already got the gauge on here. So... Uh, uh, it do, does the same setup routine once it does the home of lifting up the gauge on. I'm just going to leave the gauge on for right now. You're going to get the idea. Um, so I'll probably just cut out the, uh, the 20 seconds or so of dwell from the, uh, the video. Okay, so here's normally where you would put the gauge on just like I did the last time. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to leave the gauge on and then just edit it to where it starts. Okay, so now it's starting. What we're going to do is it's going to very much like the last run. It's going to go to a home position uh, up here at the front. And it's going, to, it's going to wait there for a second, allow you to zero the gauge. 
and then what's going to happen is once you zero the gauge then what it's going to do is run to the opposing corner so that's going to happen in here in a few seconds again you have 20 seconds between these now you can edit this if you look in the code for the p20,000 that's 20 seconds so if you want more time or less time you can adjust it so it's going to give you 20 seconds now to adjust the back of your bed so you can see I'm, a, I'm probably about four or five thousand, eh, probably about six thou off on the bed. So that would typically give me time to turn the knob, adjust it. The same rough here is I'm a, a little bit off, so I could, I could take and adjust the knob. Now, be very careful, warning, use at your own risk. It's going to move on its own whether your fingers are underneath there or not. So, big warning on that. So again, it'll come back over here and uh, It'll do its thing. And again, dwell for about 20 seconds. And then come back to its home position. And go back to uh, where you can remove the gauge. So, this is what I come up with, uh, folks. So I, I, I've actually had pretty good luck with this. So I've used this now. I've been using this for a while, actually. This is a little bit out of tune because I've been doing the heated bed videos and stuff on it. Uh, and I've been doing this also in the process so you kind of get an idea so anyways I think this is very cool and if you think it's cool I also have uh, links to you know some cheap dial indicators down below which you can pick up if you want off of Amazon etc uh, you can use digital ones too basically anyone will fit in there so hopefully you found this interesting you find this of value if you did give it a big thumbs up hey don't forget the swag shop is going to be up there subscribe button over there hit me up in the comments if you've got any ideas or if you know where i can get a digital version economically say sub you know 100 bucks preferably around 50 bucks that has some sort of computer interface and then i'll do i'll get it and i'll do up a video on it and uh, hey we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects